combining public transit and running to have fun adventures. In terms of combining running and public transit, it sort of happened naturally. I would go to running group meetups and to get there I would take the bus. And then to go home, sometimes I would take the same bus home, but sometimes maybe I wanted to add on a few miles, say the group ran 12 miles and I wanted to get to 15 that day. Instead of just running three more miles in a circle, I would run three miles closer to my destination and then catch a, another bus home and it'd be a little quicker. And so I started realizing, oh, I could just do point to point runs with, with, with public transit. Most of the runners I've known uh, follow this model where they drive to a park and they run around the park and then they get back in their car and drive home. So I am kind of trying to encourage people to think a little bit beyond that. I started a group called the Seattle Transit Oriented Runners and we've done a few runs together and that's been really fun. For a lot of people they already had an interest in transit but some people showed up because they're someone's friend and and actually on one of the runs we took link light rail and it was someone's first time riding the light rail in seattle and so that made me really happy of course i think what i do differently is that i talk about it more i like to tell people about how i did it when i share stuff on facebook or twitter about transit oriented running the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive i use gps to to track all my runs and so i get a gps map of the route afterward and i usually take at least one selfie during the run and, and then i'll take a picture of the bus or something pretty i saw along the route and i share it that way because i really want it to look appealing and attractive to other people of of hey, actually transit can be really fun because it's really cool to take a boat somewhere and run back or take a bus and run back or maybe not even plan it out in advance. Just run until you get tired and then hop on a bus. Seattle is a really cool place for transit because we're just surrounded by water. Seattle uses a transit pass called the Orca Card and I think there's somewhere around eight different transit agencies that use it. So we have lots of different modes and we also have lots of different agencies. So there's, so there's buses, there's King County Metro buses, as well as Sound Transit Express buses, which is the regional transit organization. And then you have surrounding county buses. You have ferries, um, Washington State Ferry. And then we have passenger only ferries and, and those are really cool. There's the Seattle Streetcar. And then we also have Link Light Rail, which is fantastic. Right now there's only one line, but it's going to be expanded pretty soon. For me, Vision Zero, which is the goal to eliminate traffic deaths, is really important. And sort of my life goal is to be working toward that in my career. And so I want to get closer and closer to jobs in the transportation industry where I can do that and, and also do that in my free time. It's really up to us runners to stand up for pedestrians and make sure it's safe for all pedestrians, whether that's Usain Bolt or an elderly person who walks very slowly or a three-year-old. I think freedom of mobility is really a human right and so that's part of why I love transit as well as walkability and so running and riding public transit kind of helps me advocate for both of those things.